Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. The first public handicraft support center in Korea opened at Yoju Ceramic World in Kyungi Province. Equipped with 3D printers and a range of advanced devices, this center is open to the public as well as to handicraft artists. A novice glassware creator picks up a lump of molten glass from a furnace with a steel pipe, blows through the pipe, and carefully crafts a round glass form. 직접 만들어 보니까 집에 있던 유리들을 좀 다르게 보일 것 같아요. 그 모양 하나 하나가 엄청 섬세한 작업이란 걸좀 깨달았고 만들면서 엄청 뿌듯한 시간이었습니다. Established by Gyeonggi Province with support from the Ministry of Culture, Sports and Tourism, this center features handicraft workshops for diverse materials, including ceramics, metal, and wood. These facilities and the equipment are available to all visitors, including handicraft artists, in common workshops that function as maker spaces. 창의적 아이디어를 가진 누구라도 자유롭게 이용할 수 있으며 시제품의 제작뿐만 아니라 창업까지로 이어지는 공예 산업의 확산의 천병이 되도록 노력하겠습니다. There are also spaces for handicraft related startups, education programs and small exhibitions. The Kyungi Handicraft Support Center will run free handicraft experiential programs as part of its opening events until the end of the year before entering full operation next year. Korean transportation safety levels are lower than OECD averages, with Korea's pedestrian accident rate being the highest among OECD nations. To foster safe traffic culture, Gyeonggi Province has been holding the Traffic Safety Fair annually. This year marked its fourth occasion. This traffic sign provides traffic, atmospheric, and road temperature information for surrounding areas via IoT and big data. Uh, Traffic other items featured at this fair include ground signs that are easily noticed by pedestrians using mobile phones, median strips that prevent jaywalking and illegal U-turns, and vehicles for individuals of limited mobility. There are also experiential booths for dangerous traffic situations that are open to all visitors. 평소에 운전을 할 때는 이렇게 심각하다고 생각을 못 했었는데 여기서 체험하니까 어 갑자기 일어나는 그 발생하는 사고에 대해서 한번더 경각심을 느꼈고요. 항상 안전 운전이 되겠구나 하고 생각했습니다. Held at Kintex on November 8th and 9th, this year's 2-day traffic safety fair featured more than 300 booths run by more than 100 organizations. 교통안전 박람회를 통해서 어 교통안전 수준을 한층 더 높일 수 있는 이런 자리가 되기를 바라고요. 도민들의 교통안전 생명을 지키는데 누구보다도 앞장서서 여러분 곁에 있겠습니다. The Traffic Safety Fair provided related SMEs with opportunities to promote their new technologies and products through public consultation sessions. Kyungi Province and the Democratic Party recently held a joint policy meeting and discussed a range of provincial policies. This meeting, titled Budget Policy Meeting, was held on November 8th at the Korean National Assembly Members Hall. During the meeting, Kyungi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung asked Democratic Party leaders to help the province avoid reverse discrimination because of its status as a national capital region. 내년도 예산 예산에 있어서도 호쿄 경기도가 수도권이라는 이유로 역차별 받지 않도록 또 모두가 함께 잘 사는 경기 도민들이 될수 있도록 애써 주시기를 부탁드립니다. As subjects of cooperation, Kyungi proposed the expansion of local currency usage, deregulation of public rental housing, and safeguarding national subsidies for express bus operations. The Democratic Party leader offered assurances that he will see these issues discussed within the party. 
전기 지역 화폐가 발행이 3,800억이나 되고 굉장히 빠른 속도로 이게 자리를 잡아가는 것 같습니다. 전국적으로 보급될 수 있도록 당에서도 적극 챙기도록 하고. Democratic Party leader Lee Hae Chan also offered assurances that the party will discuss express bus operation cost issues with the central government. The policy meeting ended after two hours of discussions among representatives of Gyeonggi Province and the Democratic Party, including national and provincial assembly members. During the meeting, Governor Lee also proposed three new policies regarding the expansion of public rental housing supply, the establishment of a provincial animal resource recycling center, and the promotion of pork consumption. Gyeonggi Province also submitted 17 written proposals and requested an increase in the budget for the promotion of major nationally funded projects in Gyeonggi Province in 2020. In Gyeonggi Province, there is a growing array of public library services that provide learning and experiential programs in a wide variety of subjects. This children's library in Sungnam City offers programs that use advanced technologies such as drones and robots. A virtual reality dinosaur landscape and a volcano experience program that combines sand play with holograms are also popular among visiting children. 아이들한테 접근할 수 있게 좀 다양하게 점, 준비가 되어 있어서 아이들이 즐겁게 볼수 있었던 것 같아요. The Yokgop Library in the foothills of Bucheon City operates a range of ecological programs in which children can experience nature under the guidance of instructors. 이렇게 자연 속 나무 많은 곳에 오니까 공기도 좋고 너무 마음이 편안해지는 거려. There are a number of other public libraries that offer a variety of special programs in Gyeonggi Province, such as a library in Osan City from which musical instruments can be borrowed and another library in Ansung City that features a large collection of cartoons. In order to promote library programs that accommodate local characteristics, Gyeonggi Province will increase related budgets. These and other engaging programs at public libraries of the province are gaining popularity. Recently, a large number of illegal money lenders were apprehended in Gyeonggi Province. These offenders include loan sharks who charged appallingly high interest rates and others who operated without a license. A GTV reporter followed inspectors who raided the home of an unlicensed money lender. Inspectors discover a large number of illegal loan transaction documents. Another illegal money lender was caught in the act by inspectors who posed as potential clients. In a compartment of the subject's motorbike, inspectors find stacks of flyers advertising illegal loan services. During a three-month crackdown that began in July, the Gyeonggi Province Special Judicial Police uncovered 30 illegal money lenders. These loan sharks victimized 38 individuals, primarily college students and housewives who have limited access to bank loans, through high interest loans totaling 190 million Korean won. These loan sharks charged annual interest rates of up to 8,254% and frequently threatened to reveal the transactions to family members of the victims when payments were overdue. Apprehended individuals include those who operated without a license on a membership basis. 13 illegal money lenders and 17 illegal ad distributors were apprehended, with nearly 60,000 flyers being confiscated by the Gyeonggi Province Special Judicial Police. 불법 대법을 뿌리 뽑기 위해 경기도는 앞으로도 계속 노력할 것입니다. 사회적 약자를 보호하고 공정한 세상을 만드는데 우리 특사경이 앞장서 나가겠습니다. Of those apprehended, 22 will be sent to prosecution or charged with criminal offenses, while the others are still being investigated. Gyeonggi Province will expand the scope of the investigation to online loan operators. 
Gyeonggi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung and Democratic Party leader Lee Hae-chan acted as one-day Korean pork ambassadors to support pig farmers affected by the recent African swine fever outbreak. The I Love Korean Pork campaign took place at the Korean National Assembly on November 8th. This Korean pork promotion campaign was also assisted by National Assembly members and other political leaders. This campaign was organized to help pig farmers who are experiencing difficulties due to declining pork consumption and falling prices after the recent outbreak of African swine fever. Africa, During the campaign, participants worked hard to encourage people to consume pork. Gyeonggi Province will continue its pork consumption promotion campaign and pursue diverse measures to help pork farmers. On November 13th, the National Town Hall Meeting Tour of the Agricultural and Fisheries Special Committee, a presidential advisory body, arrived in Gyeonggi Province. During the subsequent meeting, related specialists and local residents discussed the advancement of the agricultural and fishing industries. The meeting was held in the form of a roundtable conference in which each participant writes down their views on threats to local agriculture and fisheries on a piece of paper. This town hall meeting was organized jointly by Gyeonggi Province and the Agricultural and Fisheries Special Committee. The meeting saw the attendance of more than 100 farmers, fishermen, related specialists, and organization representatives. This meeting in Gyeonggi Province was the fourth in a national tour of nine area-wide autonomies. The aim of this tour is to analyze the current status of the agricultural and fishing industries and to identify future policy directions. During discussions on key issues for the advancement of the agricultural and fishing industries, basic income payment assurances were regarded as the most important issue by 44% of participants. Based on the results of the town hall meeting tour, the Agricultural and Fisheries Special Committee will develop detailed policies by March next year. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.